Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 22nd going to the 28th of May. So let's jump straight into it. This is going to be for the week that I'm uploading it in. So uh, be very mindful of the time frames. You guys have quite a few cards coming through already. I'm hearing some of you might be swimming. I don't know. Are you being called towards swimming or you do swim? Don't know. Just a random channeled message coming in there. For Leo, please, overall energy for Leo. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to be very honest with you, Leo. The Oracle cards are saying that there is kind of a shift that you're already in the middle of going through. I think you are connecting to yourself a lot more, which is very good. It's going to bring in some really good things. Uh, and there's a lot of gratitude coming in, which is amazing. And, and maybe this is something that you should be focusing on is I am kind of, I'm seeing kind of the vibes of like self-improvement, like, and I think it's really important not to focus too much on it. And a lot of people will agree in the comments um, because it can be toxic positivity, etc. You know, the hyper focus on fixing yourself is never good in uh, when it's overbearing. Uh, but I kind of feel like you've been through something very difficult. I kind of see you in these stages of journaling, of kind of working on yourself. Not that you have many things to, of course, we all have many things to work on, but I do see for the majority of you, Leo, that you have come through a very toxic stage in your life, um, whether that's your own things that you've had to deal with, like traumas and ways of dealing with things and coping mechanisms, or whether it is to do with the people that you were around and maybe what you're going to, or maybe you, what you are noticing or going to notice this week is that there is, uh, you may have had your own kind of co uh, toxic coping mechanisms um, and you are realizing now that you've moved away from certain people that that's why they were around was because you were not just on the same frequency, I, I think maybe the people that you were with were kind of maybe extremes, but maybe they were a bad influence on you, um, or maybe uh, you realize that they just had some sort of effect on you, because I, I am kind of feeling like you've already pulled away from this for the majority of you, this is coming through as maybe a past situation or something you're currently, you know, you're already moving away from mentally and spiritually, um, which is good, because I think it's also helping you to, again, work on your own maybe toxic we all have toxic maybe is a strong word for it but you know our own negative traits and shadow work which is what's coming through because one of the first cards that came up was actually the seven of swords in reversed uh so i kind of like it when it's in reverse because it's kind of saying that this is something that's being worked through this is something that cannot be ignored anymore okay um it is usually something that's hidden behind the back here it's very sneaky cheating lying kind of stealing kind of behavior that's what the card initially means i feel like i'm lagging and i hope you guys don't see that but um in reverse i kind of feel like things are kind of out in the open and this is something that is either now removed from your life and when i went to clarify the seven of swords just to see what this is because sometimes it can just be um minor we are paired with the devil here so of course this does bring in some very low level energy that's all it means low vibes low frequencies low energies um, low people and it did come through the lovers so for some of you this was a relationship for others of you it's really important to note that the lovers is about a choice so I do believe that you're learning to make the right choices like you could even just be this devil energy is just feeling tied to something it's things that are keeping you you know hostage in, in some way you know um, so I'm getting this energy for some of you. Again, it could be a person and a lot of you may relate to it in that way. I do see it as like maybe negative choices, things that make you want to run away from things that are quite good for you. And that would be that that devil energy. Um, it's kind of temptations and maybe, you know, people pleasing and instead of actually standing up for yourself. Um, maybe it's kind of... Um, maybe you do kind of lie a little bit, you know, just little lies just to keep everybody happy, again, people pleasing, but now you're not doing that anymore, I am picking up this energy of working on yourself and moving away from toxic vibes and just this devil energy in particular, as you can see, this is kind of like staircase going down to, what is the devil, so kind of hell here, 
but it's coming from this mind here so just pay attention I, I think this is something that you're dealing with is subconscious stuff shadow work and this is going to help you with your mentality um the love is is being clarified by the ten of pentacles so for some of you this could be someone that you had a family with someone that you shared a certain wealth with um someone that you shared certain vision with this was the maybe you had a home together maybe you were married because ten of pentacles is very traditional you know um the home and the family it could be a business partner or because this is coming through as for some of you because i am picking up a lot of stories so i'm sorry if the reading is a little bit messy leo but the ten of pentacles um with the lovers can mean that you're making choices that are going to get you to this ten of pentacles now which is a removal of any of these lies secrets any of these kind of um traits of kind of sneaky behavior seven of swords can sometimes just be trying to there is a a certain message coming through of kind of trying to make things what are they showing me i'm trying to find the best way to to say what it's saying here leo <laughs> bear with me kind of trying to make things easier for yourself and that's not so so much of a bad thing but it's sometimes when you're going against your own integrity or going against your own desires and your own like truth to get to a different kind of yeah i kind of feel like maybe you went for certain goals and visions that weren't really yours they were just an, an easy route or a route that didn't require much you know stepping outside the comfort zone like it could just be small scale it doesn't have to be huge but that's what they were showing me is kind of just trying to like change things to make it easier for yourself which is not a bad thing but in this case it's kind of again going against what you truly stand for i don't know what they mean by this but it's coming through anyway that's coming up as a devil this is now going in reverse though so this is showing me good things and then you also have the temperance coming out which is sagittarius energy here leo but this is all about balance and when this comes through the devil it is actually a good sign of you are finding your way to balance this kind of devil energy the seven of swords energy so any wrongdoings that have been done in your life you are healing from this usually in this card in a rider white uh, deck this is actually an angel who is stepping into some water here and balancing some elements so it's about keeping yourself grounded keeping yourself in touch with your emotions but not allowing them to drown you to overwhelm you it's kind of about I, I feel like there's a huge message here to do with balance but this is coming from you walking away from things that just don't serve you anymore ways of being maybe it is certain environments that you've been around but i kind of feel like this there's certain habits that you may have you know come across in your life and certain people you may have come across that you're realizing like actually now that i have this vision I'm understanding now that I actually have choices to make to get me there. And maybe the choices I've made so far have not been very, um, have not had that vision in mind. Maybe for some of you, you did sacrifice a vision that you had for other people. I, I, I can pick up on that. The number eight is coming through for you guys, which is a, a number of karma, actually. I always see it as a number of changes, which is good, but... As you can see, the it's kind of like an infinity sign, but to me it is like a karmic sign for some reason of what you put out comes back around. So if you're putting out uh, those choices and making those choices that are leading towards that Ten of Pentacles, whether it's just, you know, abundant wealth, whether it is just a really stable family life, whether it is just a stable income stream, you know, you could have habits of just splashing the cash you know and, and this is something that you're learning to not do you're thinking about the long-term goal and not just short-term things which is good for you and i think this is very very good we have flexible coming through so again you're having to adapt there's a lot of changes going on around you here leo so with the flexible card it is asking for you to make sure that we are not so rigid things are gonna kind of go against uh, things are going to be a little bit unpredictable moving forward which is not a bad thing in this case because it's getting you where it is that you want to go i think you're still learning as you're you know going along the path here so the flexible card is saying sometimes it's really um important when the wind blows or when changes happen that we're not so rigid and stuck because that way we're 
more prone to falling down and crashing, you know. But if we kind of bend with the wind and adjust to the changes that are going on and understand them and, and use them to better ourselves and to become stronger in that way, but not a rigid stronger, which is more like this is how I want it to go and this is the only way it's going to happen. If there's any other way, I'm, I'm going to be unhappy, you know. This egg here is saying that whatever it is that you're wanting, it is going to come to you, but you have to accept the fact that it may not be the way that you want it to be. It's just about being flexible with the universe and understanding that there is a better way and they're showing you. Uh, but this is good. I kind of feel like you're becoming more creative with your approach to things. We have happy, happy coming through, which is, again, you feeling more confident about where it is that you're going. And I, I don't think you're actually caring about the external world anymore. At least at the moment here, Leo, you're kind of focusing a lot more on yourself, which was the energy that I was picking up on that self-improvement, that the fact that you're coping better with the the things that are happening outside of you. You're not letting it affect your happiness or your peace inside. We also have this beautiful card of the fates, which is you trusting in the universe a lot more. This is the universe kind of uh, laying things out in front of you that are very fated and you're going to literally see maybe more signs and synchronicities, but opportunities that come your way or people, things that people are going to say things that's going to just remind you that the universe is looking out for you. You're going to feel very protected um, and very, I'm hearing the words important this week. You also have why. So this is tapping into your Akashic record. So some of you may be meditating a lot more. Or this could be some advice. If you're wanting to dive into your purpose a little bit more here, Leo, then the Y card is really lovely for this because you are kind of tapping into deeper meanings, deeper, you're asking deeper questions. You're, you know, a lot more curious around this time. So you are unlocking new knowledge, which is very lovely to see as well. Very interesting. I like this. You're kind of going into like Virgo mode, which is interesting. It's hermit energy. Um, and a nine of pentacles is very similar. You guys, again, you're spending more time in your own self. You are having this very deep soul searching um, mindset. The hermit is more about isolation. This is a card of wisdom. So you have kind of overcome this dark night of the soul, a very difficult time. You are spending wanting to spend more time with yourself to kind of analyze things to think about life to you know kind of look at things on a deep level this is very similar to the why that we had here you guys are really connecting to your why your purpose um and with the nine of pentacles here and by the way this is really good for your spirituality or your belief system too i think you're really connecting to uh, the universe at this time and with the nine of pentacles this is really lovely because this is you enjoying your time and your energy this is you enjoying the abundance that you are creating for yourself internally is what it feels like so even if your external world is not just yet um showing you all this value that you have i do believe that it's going to start showing up because you're acting as if it you are you are understanding that you are deserving of some things you know um so they are going to start to happen but it, it does start within and that is a very big um message in your reading is that th there is internal changes going on here which is really lovely nine of pentacles make sure you're saving that is a double message coming through when it comes down to your income nine of pentacles says that you are becoming very you know independent with your finances maybe you do work for yourself or maybe you're planning on it or maybe you're just wanting to be able to afford certain things or have the luxuries the nine of pentacles usually has three that they're willing to spend when, whenever they need, but they do have this other six kind of left there in the savings or just waiting for a rainy day. So um, it is a really important time to make sure you are saving, but this is about being resourceful as well, which I do believe that you guys are starting to do, which is great. I actually have, and I should have pulled this in the beginning, a different deck I want to use today, like some key words, please, for Leo. The key word for you guys within this week is forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. At the end of the day, forgiveness is not just, it's not just for the person at all. Um, it really is so that you can relieve and release, sorry, you know, those feelings that you have when you have that resentment towards somebody or that anger, which is such a hard thing to do, especially depending on whatever this person has done. Because again, we did have that devil energy and I was picking up that there were some people in your life who you may be holding resentment against because they may, again, like their influence on you or maybe they, you know, they, they had an impact in your life and there could be some resentment that you've been harboring. Um, but again, because you're wanting this flow of love and you are in this very self-development kind of um, energy, the self-love energy, 
those feelings are never nice and for me anyway i'm quite a sensitive person to my emotions so i I feel it and i hate it i hate bad feelings inside me you know um i don't like how it makes me feel so i forgive the energy and i forgive the the people it doesn't justify what they did and it doesn't make them good people now that i've forgiven them Uh, but it's just about understanding that this is if this is over this is done um i can't do anything about what they did and i as much as i can think about and hold resentment and blame people or um you know hold that resentment and that grudge for the rest of my life it doesn't do me any favors and i don't like the way that makes me feel so it's really up for me to look at it from a different perspective and to gain that understanding that will help me forgive a little bit better you have peacock beware of great pride all right this is a really good energy though peacocks are very good for uh, as a message for being unique and shining out but this is just saying just be aware um it's really good to do that still but just be aware of being overly um it's more about ego than anything we're not here to believe we're better than anybody else we're just here to be very confident and feel like we're the best version of ourselves so that's really amazing to be confident about yourself but just be aware of if you're comparing yourself to other people um we have vine seek out information that will help you so again researching is going to be very good for you i think you, you may be really you know looking into those books and googling things we have star guaranteed success that's amazing you do have something to do with the month of november we did have sagittarius energy coming through so maybe something happened around that time and we have haystack karma you will reap what you have sown okay leo so this is that number eight that i said as well so kind of similar to what we've been saying just confirming the messages today so uh leo i wish you all the best i really hope you have an incredible week you guys are focusing on yourself and sometimes that's the best thing that you can do you're diving deep which is again really difficult but really amazing and it will pay off long term you guys are making better choices for your life which is amazing because you will see that it actually does make a big difference okay i just think you're being more mindful which is amazing and you will get the karma for it all right Leo, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you like the reading, make sure you like and subscribe. But I hope to see you guys next time.